That's I can plus. work more now that I don't sleep. I'm off my antidepressants, and I'm off sleep as well. It turns out sleep is a conspiracy by Big Pillow. Wow, Ethan, great movie. Let's talk about a little bit on Jordan Peterson. He's actually, as you guys know, deep into the all meat diet. Huge fan of uh, oh, Jordan God. Peterson. He's actually. L-O-L. Uh, I'm going to issue a trigger warning here, not for the vegans, but actually for the meat eaters. I, you know, I eat a. I, I'm actually cutting back on my red meat. You, you'll be happy to know. I'm but I, happy. Do, I'm proud ha- of you. Thank you. But I have put a lot of effort and time into c- how to cook steaks. Now this man here. I can't look at this, Ethan. This man here bought a Japanese A5 Wagyu, and he says, how would you guys cook this beauty? Now this, does it have a price on it? This thing probably costs like 500 bucks, maybe more. Mm, probably like 200, I think. Quick speaking, you. Shut up, Hassan. That's what Jordan just said. <laughs> uh, he says, this man literally I told can't. this fucking guy. He says, freeze it. And then air fry it at 450. Drain the fat. And then add water? Bro, I I did, dude, I did, I did literally like an hour on this on my show when I first, when it first came out. I'm not even kidding. This is actually like old. When I saw this tweet, I was like, he should go to jail. I'm not, you know how like, oh, C-16, if you misgender a trans person, you go to jail. Like, that's not real, but I wish it was. Specifically for this, okay? You know, what you should go to jail for this. We should actually try this. Maybe it's no, fair. I can't do that. No, I, I can't allow that. You that know is what this, I mean? This okay, A5 Wagyu. Maybe is I should try specifically it. for those of you who don't know. If you want to pull that back up, okay. There, I'm in trouble again. It is the highest quality of meat that you can get on this planet. Okay, A5 Wagyu. A5 is the is the designation. The specificity. The reason why it's so. Uh, the reason why it's regarded as a delicacy is because of the unique marbling, okay? In order to get that marbling, we're talking about hundreds of years of, like, cow technology. These cows get fed, they're not allowed to move, they're massaged regularly, and they listen to fucking, like, classical music and shit, okay? Like, the way to get this marbling, which is the fat inside of the protein, okay? That is a scientific process. They're the so only what, ones in, that do it, really. And yes, it's a small sure. place in Japan. Yes, so whenever people say, <laughs> like, oh, this is Kobe beef or whatever, like, half the time, They're, that's not real A5 yeah, Wagyu. Yeah, more this enough. is, okay? You can see it. So the fat is literally what actually makes this steak what it is. So Jordan Peterson saying, drain the fat. Add water. I literally, I just, like, I hope... He is never allowed to enter Japan or the United States of America ever again. This man said, steam it. He still, he goes, add water and steam that bitch. Yeah, but somebody actually took his advice. Um, Fuck you I don't if you want. don't like it. Oh, wait, where's that photo? Oh, wait, where's that photo of someone who took his advice and sent a picture? Yeah, someone took his advice. It was so good. Yeah, shame on you, Mr. Peterson. You that's you vile freak. How dare you? God, he tweets so much. What this guy, dude? This is just one hour of scrolling. Yeah, here's Hassan. You see this? Someone said, "Hey, no, I took my wag- a fake image from a. That's like a. I know. Famous. Sorry. I must say that I've had some post. I'm so serious. I, I get like I get phrase. very, I get very serious about meat. And, Wait, and what's cooking. happening back there? What? What happened to the picture? You took it down. So fast. Yeah. I cooked my Wagyu steak exactly how he recommended. Frozen, then air fried. Turned out delicious. I just, oh God, I can't, I can't look at that. And then he actually responded to that. I don't think he knew it was a joke. But yeah, shame on you, Jordan Peterson. Uh, Ouchie. I want to point something out here, okay? First of all, constantly eating red meat, not good for you. Carnivore diet, not healthy for you. No. Okay? Understand this. It's not. I eat so much chicken. I love red meat. I eat red meat too regularly, okay? But what you need to understand, if you only have red meat, you're going to have health complications. Apple cider is going to probably take you out like it almost killed Jordan Peterson. But the most offensive part of this entire process is that if you are advocating to eat fucking a carnivore diet, you know what I mean? At least 
develop an appreciation for the meat that you're consuming, the animal that you have butchered and murdered, okay? Let, let it not die in vain. By doing that, you are disrespecting the fucking animal. What are you saying, bro? Now, this is perfectly cooked now, A5. Now, also on top of that, like, how, how do you make a diet? Like, how do you claim that you have this, like, incredible diet, okay? This carnivore diet, mm -hmm. which requires you to eat meat, and you still don't know how to cook meat. Think again, sunshine. Um, I it's resent that. Disgusting. Gordon Peterson does nothing wrong, and you are a hater. Also, you're a communist. YOLO bitches. Get Yo some. Actually, so the whole all-meat diet is actually a total fucking grift that his daughter, friend of Andrew Tate, is doing. She actually even gave a, a speech here explaining that force-feeding your infant meat will make their head bigger. Now, I'm not sure that's a good thing. I was so confused by this. I'm not video. sure about making... You know what I mean? Okay, well, I mean... This is... I mean, Caleb Peterson. Maybe, maybe you should give it. I fucking wish my parents gave it a shot. Maybe force feeding you meat. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, they kind of they kind of fucked up on that one, didn't they? <laughs> they yeah. sad. We need you. Anyway, have you seen this clip? It's great. Food that people can actually survive on as a single food without supplementing anything else, which is the perfect elemental diet for a sick person. If you use meat as a first food for a baby, their head circumference is actually larger than babies fed without meat. Yeah, I think that's called a birth defect. Baby one. I think that's called. They're like, yo, dude, if you force feed your child meat instead of milk, are, their head ends up two hundred percent larger. Are we missing something? <laughs> does she think? Does she think bigger head means bigger brain? Big head means big brain. Baby. Yeah, angry. like that's why Sebastian Gorka is the smartest American, smartest Hungarian and American. Yeah. The ketogenic diet, which is the type of diet I'm on, minus the plant food, has been shown. <laughs> Yo, I'm on keto, minus the veggies. Veggies are for gay people, clearly. I mean, treat <laughs> she's so fucking nuts. Yeah. I just, I also don't believe it. Like, I, I low-key don't believe that she's just exclusively eating meat in the way that she presents yeah. it. Because, like, you, you truly would have way more health complications. Like, I just, there's I, no way. I agree with you. I, I think she's lying. But she has this thing called the Lion Club where people pay her monthly for advice. It's really weird. And this is the kind of advice. Force feed your, new, your infant through a syringe, ground up fucking cow blood or some shit. Epilepsy since the 1920s and was kind of put out of fashion by anti-epileptics. In the first study on the carnivore diet. <laughs> the big anti-epileptic lobby. Damn. They got us again. Released by Harvard this November. Adults consuming a carnivore diet experienced few adverse effects and instead reported health benefits and high satisfaction. The surprise came because an average of 90% of people saw improvements across all diseases on the diet. One in four people. If you stop and think what she's actually advocating for, it's she wants people to eat only meat. Like, the, do you understand, like, how fucked up that is for like the world that's bad for the environment it's so bad it's also like not something that people can do because it's like super expensive it's super expensive and we will absolutely dev it well that's why jordan peterson's always going on and on now about how global warming is a hoax like the man it did, no, he's going on and on so about fun. the global warming is a hoax because he's an oil lobbyist like make no mistake he's getting money one million percent i'd bet money that he's getting paid by the oil lobby i mean he is actually why well he's on the daily wire now. yeah it, it's not even just that but also like he does the speaking engagements and stuff where he's constantly talking about like well logging is destroying the environment too i mean there's nothing wrong with fossil fuels that's how we uplift the third world like that sort of shit god the oil lobby is so fucking devious anyway rats um, will dance for money he, is, he, is, he does get speaking engagement fees from them he, oh, piece of shit. Uh, Fuck One in guy. four people over 64 have type 2 diabetes in America. All respondents with diabetes discontinued non-insulin injection agents. This, this, she really said no more insulin, just eat meat. <laughs> Yo, you got diabetes? Throw that this insulin out. For air fry a steak. Okay, for those of you who like will try and make an argument or something about this, like here's the thing. Yes, like a a bariatric surgery, a gastric bypass, will cure your diabetes, unless you're type 1, right? Um, or wait, is it type 2, the one that's like I think permanent it's and genetic? Type 2 is the permanent one. Yeah, okay, unless you're type 2. But make no mistake, 
You wouldn't be you wouldn't be uh, fixing curing your diabetes by just eating meat. You'd be curing your diabetes if you actually end up losing weight. That's Which, it. Of course, you're gonna lose weight with all meat because like you're gonna get ill if you eat like what two thousand calories of meat every day. You'll be like oh, absolutely. I got it right. Type one is permanent. Okay. Type two is okay. Thank you for that. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, it's so vile. 84% discontinued oral medication and 92% of participants on the carnivore diet with type 2 diabetes discontinued insulin altogether. Over 2,000 people were studied who were on the diet for over six months, and there was a 90% reduction in all diseases. The demonization of red meat was based off of a few hypotheses. The demonization based on of red meat? Who the fuck's demonizing you're, you're red, talking red about meat? Cows of fucking like you know, systematic slaughter okay, you of cows. Like what? cow farts are literally causing global you warming. You wanna know who's demonizing red meat? Her fucking dad, bro. Yeah, I see That's what the, she did. I saw it. what I saw what he did with the I don't want to suggested with the, with that A5 Wagyu is so is so disgusting. Is oh god. It's actually shame. hateful. If I could call I would like to call it a hate crime. It is a hate crime. Yeah. It's a hate crime against Japanese cows. But like it's it's so insane what she's advocating for. Like if even if what she's saying is true, let's assume that eating cows cures every fucking uh, sickness in the world. It's crazy. But the, how are you going to do that? How are you going to get enough cows, even for the United States, to feed everybody just cow meat every meal? Like what world are you even wanting to build with that? It's crazy. And it's um, because the um, the study, it, when I saw this video, I was like, I, she's talking about a Harvard study. And I was like, I got to see <coughs> what this is, like if there's any validity to it. Yeah, okay. And, and I know what your, I know what your purpose was. <laughs> you, you have a bias. Here, I have an agenda you? here. It's true. It's true. But yeah, I found the study and the study itself makes a lot of points about that, how um, it is in no way realistic for, you know, the entire population to switch to this kind of diet because of those environmental concerns. It'd be catastrophic. Yeah, they, they, they point that out. And on top of that, this study was all self-reported by people that are super into the carnivore diet. So of course they're saying, oh yeah, it, it's great. Because, I mean, you know how these people are. They're, they're all like her. They, they think it's like a cure-all They self-reported. So how did they find the, the participants? On like Twitter, on social media. So what's the point of even making this? Like, no, Harvard, Harvard's falling apart. What's the point of even doing this? I mean, like, hey, corn of our diet people, tell me how you're... Because they're too, it's because they're too focused on doing pronoun studies. So they, the, the institution of Harvard is falling apart, folks. That's right. They're not even doing good studies no more. I'll tell you what, man. I mean, uh, I, like, you can do a self-reported study. It's just like there's no way to recreate this, I don't think. And also... Diets are so complicated, so complex, because human beings are so different from one another. Um, there's different ways that people process, metabolize food. It's just <laughs> stupid. It's just stupid to be like, oh, just a carnivore diet will, will work. When ultimately, yes, if you dramatically shift your diet, and one thing I always say is you have to make sure your diet is, your diet is whatever it is, right? Like you can have an unhealthy diet, you can have a healthy diet, but you have to make sure that your diet is one that you can follow for the rest of your life. Uh, otherwise, you will yo-yo. Your weight will go back and forth uh, as soon as your, I guess, quote-unquote, diet is over, right? Because there's no such thing. And I don't think you can do that with just straight meat. <laughs> well, the reason people do lose weight on meat is because going to, like, one food is, is like, a, it is, it's a technique in, in nutrition and in health to figure out, like, if you're having food allergies or f certain foods aren't doing good for your body. So if you if you are having some kind of allergies and you feel sick from eating, which I assume these people probably do to do something as radical as that, if you go back down to just eating meat, then you know whatever you were eating before is out of your diet. But you're not you're supposed to slowly add things back in one at yeah. a time, not yeah. just go oh I'm just going to eat meat forever. That doesn't make any fucking sense. To go you're, back you're to literally describing <coughs> fixing eating disorders like that's what dietitians would dis di would teach you on step by step. Yeah, they they just they just they like sticking in the dysfunction part. Yeah. Well, 
I, it, I, it's just, there's, it's no fun. The fuck, like, yeah, food is fuel, but you can make healthier choices that work for you. I do it, you know? I, I've been relatively successful in this endeavor. It just pisses me off that they, they take something that I enjoy eating and then they turn it into, like, this awful thing. Like they're they're they advocate for like the worst kind of uh, the worst type of consumption. There's still you can still have carbs. You should have a healthy, balanced diet. It's so stupid. Uh, going back to the survey, it says, or this is the study she's citing. So not only were they uh, self-assessed, but it does not include any objective assessment of their diet, nutrition status, health-related outcomes, or health-associated behaviors. Oh, why does it lie? Yeah, <laughs> I know. So, like they it, said, further investigation is needed to better understand the diet and its impact on health. And that's directly from the study. So it's not even that it's like a bad study. Like they acknowledge the shortcomings in the study. It's just they were super preliminary. Right. Exactly. And she's Where like, is not she talking about this. Apparently, uh, I just saw somebody in the chat mention it. Oxford. Yeah, it looks like it's some British chick is like the yeah. kids in the back look like a bit composers, a bit dressed up, isn't it? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, here comes a fancy, oh, fancy eating meats too, me lady. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. I'll stand in attention to your, her royal highness, Michaela. Me, the lion diet, McPeterson. I love Watching Scran. Taught her to say, Booyah Kasha. <laughs> ...studies that have been proven to be false. Saturated fat has slowly been disappearing as the cause Why of heart disease in scientific literature. Yeah, take, to relax, you know what I mean? Be comfortable mm -hmm. up there. Yeah, she's it's like she's like, ready to run at any like, time. I've heard Londonistan is crime Tom infested. <laughs> Lots of knife crime here, in it. Need to keep your bag on you. Keep the fanny. <laughs> because it's not the cause for heart disease. Okay. The studies on colorectal cancer were done on people who also ate more sugar and processed foods, McDonald's. <laughs> Thanks the for, for the B-roll of Chinese food. Myth Bro. when you don't consume plants. Our populations need <laughs> high levels of vitamins. It turns out she's, that's only necessary because we're consuming so many carbs. Okay, okay. We can't handle I the do, amount of I sugar in our body. This. I don't disagree with this. I, it's just so fucking annoying <laughs> when, like, people are talking, when, when people want to, like, sell their fad diets. They genuinely are, are, it just frustrates me so much because they always sneak in normal, factually accurate information in there. Not the fiber part, but like, yes, the American diet is absolutely fucked. Okay. We have, we have a, a tremendous amount of, we have a tremendous amount of carbs. Carbs are not as, carbs are not as filling overall. No, but she's talking about the like carbs, any carbs. processed sugars. They have like psycho takes on carbs. They're like no fucking carbs ever. Yeah, I'm not. A, I'm not a keto advocate. I've done keto, and it's not. It's not sustainable. I don't like it. It's not for me. Maybe it is for you. Who knows? But what I was trying to say is, like, yes, if you have a diet that comprises almost exclusively of fucking carbs and like very little protein, yes, your muscles are going to atrophy. You're not getting enough. You're not getting enough nutrients. You're not getting enough macronutrients. Well, who's doing that? You're living on just like French fries. I mean, I mean, there are people have shit diets. But I'm people, saying, like, of course that's bad for you. Nothing but bread. Bread, yeah, that's yeah, that's not a good diet either. Diet. It's also cheaper. I Remember, what's worse, eating just bread or just red meat? Probably just bread. Yeah, no, eating just bread is worse. Than so eating. she's onto something. Hmm. But but that's but you're right. Like that's an insane one to one comparison, right? Like no one is eating just bread or just rice it, or whatever. If somebody's just eating carbs, they know they're unhealthy. You know what I mean? Like that's not a fucking mystery. But for some reason she's convinced that eating just meat to the dome is the greatest thing that ever happened. Something that you guys uh, just should always keep in mind is that all fad diets basically are operating sneakily under the same fundamentals okay calories in calories out is real it's just you know your body is a machine obviously it varies uh from person to person some people have a higher more active metabolism they're less sedentary they're more fidgety even you know what i mean there's like multiple different ways that your body is constantly burning uh and and needs more carbs or needs more calories sorry these guys all are just basically taking that fundamental principle and then adding unnecessary weird shit to to you know 
uh, deviate from the rest and, and make themselves seem like a, like a more marketable, well, here, trendy dieter. I find a lot of, of those diets, they just act, they kind of accidentally, you just consume less because the diet is so fucking crazy. Like keto. It's like, um, if you're not, if you're cutting out processed food and carbs and sugar, you're probably going to lose weight regardless of what you're eating. But here's Jordan Peterson talking very highly about his all meat diet. Well, I've been eating. I've been eating. I've been meat. eating. His voice is so fucking crazy. I've been eating only red meat. Basically nothing but meat. I don't like to talk about this much because I'm not a dietitian and it's really weird. And in some ways I just hate Why this diet because I love Wait, really? Because your, your daughter's selling a whole fucking course about it. I love to cook. You've and I changed, love, bro. I love to go out to restaurants. It's very restrictive. But um, I, when I went on this diet to begin with, I, because of autoimmune issues, as far as I could tell, yeah, I lost like 50 pounds in six months. It was ridiculous. Like I wasn't really that much overweight. I'm about six two. So, but it, like eight pounds a month. Oh, this isn't the video I want. This isn't the I just, video I want. Here, this is fast forward a month or something of him. Yeah, I see. Here's Jordan Peterson on his- Are you still eating your all beef diet? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> really, just just beef, not- Can you have, like, ketchup no, on it? nothing. It isn't something I would lightly recommend. It's a little hard on your social He's life. He's such a badass, dude. It makes traveling quite dude. difficult, and it's dull as hell. But, but- But what's it, what has it done for you? Well, I lost 50 pounds in seven months. He looks so happy, by the way. But there's, you know what no, I mean? Like, like, I think the, the meat is working when for you him. Put the Sigma, when you put the Sigma grind set <laughs> music behind it, like, this, this effet liberal man who is, like, very clearly breaking his fucking body, mind, and soul, who got, like, you know, who almost died from a fucking apple cider attack, whose daughter may or not, may not be trying to kill him actively. Yeah. Okay? Um... Who had to go into a medically induced coma at a certain point in his fucking life. And, uh, you know, that guy, all of a sudden he looks cool, you know? No, it's normal to be like this, this fucking lifeless husk. It was like, yes, I'm crying all the time because I have a hormonal imbalance. But honestly, it's okay because I've lost a lot of weight. I've, I've lost weight in the last 30 the days. The kids are saying W Riz. I'm off all my psychiatric drugs. He says that too. Can't yeah. you tell I'm doing wonderful? Dude, this man looks like he's on the fucking edge of ending it all. Stop snoring. I stopped snoring. I had some autoimmune conditions that seem to have gone away. That is so stupid. I'm not taking antidepressants. Yeah. My mood isn't perfectly regulated, but dude, bro, he got I, that's an understatement. You look like you're gonna kill yourself. No, he got addicted to the barbiturates after this, so <laughs> he fucking no, didn't take, brother. Like, I don't have to take any meds. I don't wipe anymore. I've had over forty pizzas in the last thirty days. I don't even look to see if it's dirty. I just assume it is. I'm under a fair bit of stress, so that might have something to do with it. I sleep much less. Uh, that's um, not I can good. Work more. Uh, I, I now that I only eat meat, I sleep two hours a day. Bro, 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 bro. Especially the sleep part, like it's so important. I oh don't... my god, for for a healthy body, mind, soul, whatever the fuck he you goes, want to call it, your sleep is so so incredibly important. You need to get like it's not a meme that people say like you need to get eight hours. Like I and I say this as someone who doesn't get eight hours, but I'm telling you, like. It's it's bananas. He's like, yeah, I can work out. That's I can plus. work more now that I don't sleep. Yeah, that's a plus I used to for say him. that. I used to say that when I slept fucking four hours. Nah, yeah, it just ruined me. I'm off my antidepressants and I'm off sleep as well. It turns out sleep is a conspiracy by Big Pillow. Yeah, sleep is so sleep is definitely hugely important in your <coughs> weight loss, weight gain, whatever your dietary, uh, whatever your goals are. Sleep is genuinely important because it, you, you know, your body's not going to process hormones uh, correctly. Your body's not going to push out the, the right kind of hormones that you need.